Can we allocate work items to users in a meaningful automated way? The answer is yes. YAL has allocation strategies. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I do videos on business process automation. This video is part of a series on YAL tutorials. Today I'll show you how to allocate work items to the user with the shortest work queue. Okay, we'll do two things. First, we will look at an example workflow in the YAL editor and I'll show you how to configure shortest queue in the editor. And then in the second part, we will just look how this works if we execute the workflow. So here behind me, you can already see the YAL workflow open in the YAL editor and you can get the material in our companion page and the link is in the description below. So we have submit leave request and then approve leave request and then the workflow goes on. So assume that we want to distribute the approve leave request work items to the one with the shortest queue. So in order to do that we go to this approve leave request task and go to resourcing and here in resourcing you can see that currently this is offered to the role approver and we have in fact two users in our system with the role approver and then in the allocation part down here we have marked enable system allocation and we have chosen the strategy shortest queue and in here you can have other strategies as well like fastest to allocate round robin random etc etc but we have chosen shortest queue and so this is the setting in our editor okay what do we have here um, on the left hand side below you can see the workflow specification open in the editor and um, we have the first task in the workflow submit leave request which is offered to the role applicant and uh, in the window on the left hand side above we have the an applicant uh, logged in with a number of submit leave requests work items. On the right hand side we have two approvers, two different approvers logged in um, and the one on top has uh, at the moment two work items approve leave request which is this um, this yellow task here after submit leave request and um, the approver below has uh, at the moment five work items um, approve leave request. So what happens um, if we now start a new submit leave request work item here? I will do that right now. So I will open it and um, the data here don't really matter. I just put in anything and I complete. And now on the right hand side um, we can refresh and you see it's the one on top that has received another work item and not the one on the bottom because the one on top had the shortest queue and so if we repeat this process again it's the one on top that has received the work item And again and now the two work lists are of the same length so I would expect that the next one can be any of them so it's not the one at the top this time it's the one at the bottom and if we do it again
It's the one at the top. That was to be expected. So if you want, you can do this using the supplementary material and you can make your own experiments. So let me know if this works for you. Do you have any application for this? Let me know in the comments.